Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Tater featuring a 2015 ML250. This is a diesel, it's a 4MATIC. It's a 74,000 mile car. We can finance it through Cuttle. We can put an extended warranty on it and we welcome trades. Uh, we're fans of the Mercedes diesels. Um, this generation came in, um, you saw them in a 350 also. So these cars replaced the old CDIs. Now you have Blue Tech, uh, which is, uh, of course, is an ad def um, system. Uh, we like them. The 250 was more common in the GLK. We sold a lot of those, um, I guess, in the uh, early two, or late 2020, 2021. We don't see them much anymore. Um, you don't see these a lot. A lot of these are 350s. Uh, we like them for the fuel economy, for the torque. And this had a really nice MSRP. I think it was 62. So it's got, I think, 12 or $14,000 of optional equipment, which is a ton of gear. Uh, the wheels, tires are in good shape. We've got running boards. Um, so this has got track package on it, which you'd think would be performance-based. Track package for this generation Mercedes is actually safety stuff. So it's blind spot, lane change, stuff like that. Um, I think it comes from lane tracking. Um, so this is a four-cylinder uh, diesel. It's got a tow package on it. It's got power lift it. It's got a Desenio uh, interior in it, which is, well, I think, you know, I think it's got Desenio. It's, I, we've decoded that, uh, and I'll show you up front. It's got three tone interior. So you do have a Mercedes first aid kit and the spare that is a space saver, but uh, spares are not very common anymore. It's got weather tech mat. It's got a power lift gate. Um, yeah, so super nice cars. These are all-wheel drives, um, and people like them for the torque. Uh, it's not a ton of towing capacity, but they definitely are responsive. They get great fuel economy, um, and the 250 has been, I don't know, most of the people that we sold, if I can remember correctly, uh, everybody really liked the GLK. That's a model that's no longer being produced. It was a little boxy uh, SUV, and we were buying the uh, 250 um, Bluetex there, and people love them. So you can see the two-tone interior. You've got wood trim, and then you have the, the darker uh, handset. You have darker mats. The seating surfaces are in really good shape, super clean. You have a single sunroof. Um, so the triangle there, that's an indication of blind spot. Uh, again, so driver's side door trim, really clean seat. So it was a, it's a previous uh, CPO certified, so it never hurts. Um, you can see it's really clean. So this, it has keyless go, but the keyless go button is not working. I am not going to fix that. Um, I've, I just put a water pump in it and another component in it. Uh, the water pump had a leak that we weren't comfortable with, so we fixed that at the Mercedes dealership. And then it was because that was leaking, uh, there was another component um, that uh, we replaced also at the same time. And so that's the keyless go I'm just going to leave. So now, um, instead of having the button here, you just got to use the key. That's it. So passenger side door trim is clean. Uh, passenger side seat is clean. Dash, clean. Uh, 74,454 miles. As I mentioned, uh, one of the reasons we bought this is because of the MSRP. So the base MSRP on this car was, uh, was it uh, 49? And then when you got done, you were at 61. So 12 grand, that's a lot of optional equipment for Mercedes. And the stuff that we like specifically is going to be the premium package, uh, lane tracking package, tow package, um, and then you have small stuff, um, the illuminated star and uh, keyless go. So a nice enough build. There's a little wear on the uh, button here, so the back and forth on the radio control. Center console's clean. So we love the two-tone interior. It's a super nice, and you saw a lot of those on the GOK. It may have just been a component of the the 250s. Um, used to be when Mercedes first came out uh, with these, everything was the same color. It was all gray or all tan or all black, and uh, they got quite a bit smarter on the GOK. I think that was in 12 or 13.
and um, th it was two-tone interior which totally changed the interior look so dual auto climb control dual heated seats uh, let me turn the lights on so you can see that um, a pretty basic media interface here uh, one of the nice things about this is going to be that you've got um, a surround view camera that is not going to be a, a common option on this car at all um, that's super nice and again not uh, not common at all in this generation especially the 250 uh, so radio you've got satellite radio um, navigation backup camera which I just showed you you do have a six disc changer Bluetooth and your system settings that's all driven down through here so selectable toggle right or left and then down for select um, You've got a wood steering wheel, which is a Mercedes thing. You have a paddle shift, so you have an upshift on the right, a downshift on the left. This is your onboard display, so you can change what you're looking at up there. You can hit back, you can select the middle, and then uh, toggle through. You can see the select bar here, so it's your trip, navigation, Bluetooth, um, or your uh, driver's assistance stuff. Uh, let me go back. and uh, So we have a picture of the driver's assistance stuff, but uh, there you go. So you've got that's all your safety stuff and your settings in here and you toggle through that with this uh, the right side's volume control bluetooth activation voice activation uh, cruise tilt steering wheel telescoping steering wheel wipers uh, and then this is um, your transmission ironically enough so you can see the yellow indicator uh, for the blind spot that means it's active three buttons up here these are programmable for security gates and garage door openers as i mentioned uh, the sunroof just a standard size just to open and close it so that you know that it works uh, I have one key and we've got a set of books up here so that's it I mean pretty straightforward um, ton of car for the money uh, and this is and again this is one of the best equipped uh, 250s I've seen um, they're just not built like this very often and they, you don't see a lot of them um, so anyways, if you have questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354 and thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.